Why do patients with schizophrenia have auditory hallucinations? What are hallucinations? Hallucinations are false or distorted sensory experiences that appear to be real perceptions. These sensory impressions are generated by the mind rather than by any external stimuli and may be seen, heard, felt, and even smelled or tasted. Hallucinations are a characteristic symptom of schizophrenia. Usually the hallucinations are heard and are called auditory hallucinations. Often the auditory hallucinations consist of a voice keeping up a running commentary on the persona Euro's behavior or thoughts, or two or more voices conversing with each other. Schizophrenia symptoms overlap with schizoaffective disorder, depression, mania, substance abuse and autism. The hallucinations help diagnose schizophrenia. The overlap or similarity with these other diseases suggests that there is a similar pathology affecting the brain in all of these diseases, but schizophrenia is the disease where the auditory hallucinations are prominent. Patients with schizophrenia are often anxious and depressed. In order to understand what is happening in the brain to cause these symptoms, one needs to understand the new developments in schizophrenia. Over the past few years schizophrenia has been noted to be a neuroinflammatory disease. This means that the brain is inflamed in schizophrenia. Studies have confirmed that inflammatory measurements such as TNF were increased in schizophrenia and most psychiatric diseases. Inflammation of the brain is due to an abnormal immune response to 1. Immunogens which are substances such as food, infection, drugs or alcohol, environmental stress, head injury. Two. Autoimmunogens which are substances produced by a genetically abnormal individual. Several abnormal genes have been discovered in schizophrenia such as DISC1 and Mgulin which affect nerve cell or NREN growth and result in the abnormal immune response. It is thought that the white cells called TREGS control the immune response. Further studies of TREGS in schizophrenia are awaited. It is likely that TREG cells will become very important in schizophrenia and the future of schizophrenia is probably a TREG syndrome. A TREG syndrome is defined as an abnormal TREG controlled immunogenic response to an immunogen or autoimmunogen in a genetically predisposed individual resulting in inflammation or cancer. The parts of the NREN inflamed in schizophrenia are the incoming fibers called dendrites. Inflammation of dendrites is called dendritis. The dendrites are the fibers which receive information from other neurons. Dendron means tree in ancient Greek. The dendrites are tree shaped. It has been noted that the dendrites have protuberances on their surface rather similar to leaves on a tree. These are called dendritic spines and contain synapses on their surface. Synapse means connection in ancient Greek. Psychiatric diseases are characterized by reduction in dendritic spine size, numbers and density rather similar to losing leaves on a tree from summer to winter. Reduced dendritic spine numbers are associated with fear, self-pity, resentment and dishonesty when the front of the brain or the frontal lobes is affected. Schizophrenic patients often have excessive fear of anxiety, self-pity or depression, resentment or hatred and dishonesty or criminality. A recent study by Associate Professor Robert A. Sweden with psychopharmacology has confirmed that the dendritic spines are reduced in the part of the brain where sound is perceived which is known as the auditory cortex. Using the dendritus theory that reduced dendritic spine numbers are associated with negative thoughts and feelings it is not surprising that the inflamed auditory cortex results in the production of unpleasant auditory hallucinations. In conclusion it seems that dendritus or inflammation of renal dendrites with reduction in number, size and density of dendritic spines can be used as an organic model of schizophrenia in order to improve the understanding of this disease and can be used with the older receptor neurotransmitter or lock and key model. This new approach has led to schizophrenia now being treated as an inflammatory disease resulting in dendritic spine reduction. Current treatment trials include antibiotics, nicotine and statins. Nicotine promotes the growth of dendritic spines and may be the reason why patients with schizophrenia are often heavy smokers. Stem cells will probably also be used in the future. Older treatments such as phenethazines, for example, helperidol are known to have anti-infective properties.